I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Last week, the House Administration Committee held a hearing on voting in Florida. Representative Pete Aguilar reaffirmed that the 2020 election was safe and secure, despite any claims from the former president. He questioned witnesses about Governor Ron DeSantis' plan to create an election police unit to investigate election complaints. He also asked witnesses how Florida Senate Bill 7066 is an unfair poll tax quote against poor, black, and brown Floridians. Let's listen in for his full line of questioning. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, thanks to all our panelists uh, for joining us today on such an important topic. Um, uh, I appreciate Mr. Anderson talking about um, that this election was secure and, and safe. I think Americans and Floridians need to know that uh, from the highest levels of government uh, over the past year and a half. Uh, we've heard time and time again that that wasn't the case. Uh, from, from the former president. So I appreciate elections officials time and time again speaking before us, Mr. Chairman, and, and reemphasizing uh, that important point. Uh, Mr. Ashwell, last month, uh, Governor DeSantis signed Senate Bill 524, which we've talked about here a little today. And I was concerned and, and troubled by one specific provision within the bill that created the nation's only election police unit uh, that's supposedly uh, to investigate election complaints. Can you tell me what system is in place right now in Florida to receive elections-related complaints and allegations? Uh, can you explain to us how the system works uh, and uh, why um, uh, uh, the governor uh, proposes uh, to create a new authority uh, for this purpose? Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. Um, so the current system is uh, a little fragmented, to be honest. I mean, complaints about election problems can go to the local supervisor. They can come in through the Secretary of State's hotline. Um, it can come in through the local sheriff. And uh, it's, I, I think it's true that there could be better coordination of it. Our contention uh, and position against this office, this new office, all along was that it was expensive and unnecessary, that the, the funds being used to create this new uh, office, uh, which has a myriad of problems, could have been more effectively used to just create better coordination and training among existing uh, law enforcement agencies. Um, does, go ahead. Does it, does it concern you that, that now, individuals um, that this new law enforcement group uh, will be, you know, around in the communities um, and could even muddy the process between some of those elections officials, county sheriffs, and some of those, you know, current reporting uh, authorities? Yes, definitely. I mean, it's it's been very muddy throughout the entire legislative process. In every committee this bill was heard, um, a lot of the minority members pointed out that it would be duplicative and there <laughs> The, the responses were basically that, hey, the more the merrier. You know, if we have more agents looking at it, less fraud. And I mean, I think it's important to look at the whole underlying premise of this office. I mean, it's that there's this large uh, problem of systemic fraud that isn't being captured by the current system. Um, so their, their whole goal really with this, I, I believe their, their whole goal with this office is to substantiate claims that there is this problem, to build a record of there being a problem that there really isn't there. Um, and we've, we've tried to press them, others have tried to press them to require more substantive reporting on the back end. You know, this office will have to report to the legislature annually on the number of complaints they receive, the nature of those complaints, but doesn't have to report on frivolous complaints. We would contend that a lot of what they're probably gonna get are frivolous complaints from people who have bought into conspiracy theories and election lies. And yeah. it's- I, I think that's fair given given the track record that we've that we've seen. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry because the time I've, I've I've got to uh, interrupt you, try to get a question into to Ms. Bennett. Ms. Um, Bennett, in November of 2018, Floridians uh, overwhelmingly voted to restore voting rights to citizens who had prior felony convictions. You talked about this in your testimony, but the legislature changed the confines of that law. Uh, to, to ensure that um, that it wasn't implemented. Um, can you t explain how Senate Bill 7066 is a poll tax against poor black and brown Floridians? Yes, thank you for the question. Um, so when Senate Bill 76, 7066 was passed, um, it was passed as sort of an implementing legislation, even though Amendment 4 by many organizations was clear and self-executing. 
um, Senate Bill 76 uh, made it a requirement that returning citizens or formerly incarcerated people repay fines, fees, and restitution prior to them regaining their right to vote. Um, when an incarcerated individual is released from prison, that person is given $50 and a bus pass. The first thing on their mind is, can I find me a place to stay, a place to eat, um, a bed, or possibly even a job that will even hire a formerly incarcerated felon. And then they didn't have to navigate Florida's decentralized system of records. Florida's 67 clerk of courts, uh, the Department of State, the uh, Department of Corrections, the Office of Executive Clemency, all of these different agencies keep different records. And it was noted in the district court's opinion um, on Senate Bill 7066 that even the Secretary of State acknowledged it was unclear how a former um, felon could actually verify how much they owed. And so couple that with an inability of someone to pay uh, these fines, fees, and restitutions, even if they could determine what they owed, um, it definitely amounts to a poll tax. The gentleman's time Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Yep. My time's expired. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Yield back.